I was really into Papa Roach. I was at a show and I'm hanging out by the tour buses. And we ended up meeting the band and hanging out with them. One of my friends actually started talking to their tour manager. And one day he just emailed me and goes, would you ever want to go on tour and photograph bands? And I was like, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the goal. <laughs> I first started going on tour with my boyfriend in a van. And then I got the call from my friend and he goes oh do you want to go on tour with Blondie so I, I was on the call with their tour manager and she asked me oh have you ever been on tour before because I kind of didn't know what I was talking about and I was like yeah of course I've been on tour before <laughs> and little did she know it was my boyfriend's band in the van I always would photograph my family I still always do I always will it's my favorite personal project um, it's I call it sort of a lifetime project because it will always go on I went to the Art Institute of Boston, and it was eye-opening. It's kind of where I discovered that documentary photography was a thing, and I wasn't just taking pictures to take pictures. I was actually taking pictures for a reason to document. Photographing my family was a good stepping stone for photographing bands, because when you're on the road, you sort of have these mini families. and. It's cool because, I mean, I, I photograph the bands, but I also photograph the crew. I photograph the whole life of tour. And that's what I like to focus on. I like to show the whole picture of what's going on on the road because there are so many people that make the show happen. It's weird that only maybe four or five people actually get all the, you know, the, the fame. I shoot a lot of live stuff of the band, but that's not really like what, a, what I like to focus on. Um, the backstage stuff is my favorite. It sort of shows that they're real people. And I actually like to put them next to the live stuff with the juxtapose of rock star and then normal person. Because it, you know, it sort of shows, yeah, these people are real. And it, it's weird because I've been around it since I was young. Because I would always go to shows and I would be that fangirl hanging out next to the tour bus trying to like meet the band. And once you start meeting these famous people, you start to realize that they're just normal people, and I, I really like that aspect of it. I also really like shooting the fans of these bands because I don't want to say that I'm jaded, but when you're around it so much, you realize that it is a show, and that's cool, but a lot of the fans don't realize that. I sort of like that about the fan. One photo in particular that I really like is one of Lee Fox of Blondie. He's the bass player. I just walked into a room and he was in there by himself playing bass with the lights turned low and I walked in, I snapped a photo and it wasn't weird. That was kind of the point where I was like, yes, this is this is going to work. A lot of the photo, especially in celebrity photography, you know, the bands want to look good in their photos. It's not always the case where they're looking their best and I really like the photo, especially with my family. I would get in fights with my family and now I don't even try anymore to use a photo that they don't like because <laughs> it's not worth the fight. I was looking through photos with Fred Durst one time. We were looking through my photos and he was like, man, you're so lucky. He's like, no one gets these photos. You're so lucky. You're welcome. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I mean, you're right. And, and I just think that's cool because I am lucky and I know that. I just want to always continue photographing in whatever way I can continue to do that, I'll probably do it. It's just great that I have a job that I can use my camera with, but even if I didn't, I would find a way to keep on photographing. I mean, I would be out on the road if I was getting paid nothing. I would pay to be out on the road actually. Don't tell anyone that.